Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Ponty, and as you can see around me, I have all sorts of uh, things stacked in odd places. Each of these is actually an inertia demo. We would normally do this in class, but signs of the times and everything. Anyway, so I'm going to show you a few examples of inertia. Uh, some of them have moving off parts, and then others have to do with objects at rest. My hope is that you can go ahead and take away something from each, so that way you can go ahead and explore different aspects of inertia. Let's go ahead and get started. So my first demonstration has to do with these cups that are stacked on top of each other. Each of them are the same cup and they have all these uh, index cards in between them, which is preventing them from, you know, stacking and collapsing upon each other. What we're going to do here is I'm going to be pulling out each of the index cards at a normal pace, uh, just to kind of show you what would normally happen. As you can see, it travels with me on the car. However, I'm going to look what happens if I happen to pull this fast enough. Impressive, right? Let me go ahead and do it again. There we go. Let's go ahead and see that in slow motion. In my next example, I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, an, another object being pulled out of the way of one that's standing still. Here we have a coin, this embroidery ring, and then after ultimately this cup. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out this embroidery ring from underneath the coin, and we're going to see what happens. That's nice. I'm going to do it one more time, and of course we'll do this in slow motion for further edification. There you go. In this example, we're going to go ahead and change things up and show you what happens when something is moving. In this case, I have a cart with a small stack of coins on it that we're just going to go ahead and glide down this ramp and ultimately collide with one of my books. Uh, you may find this very similar to another example that you experience in everyday life. When your parents break the car too hard and you have your seatbelt on. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and imagine that this is you for a moment. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Hmm. I want you to go ahead and take a moment and observe the coins. Well, let's go ahead and try this out in slow motion, just so you can go ahead and see and get a better view of them. The final demo is a demo that you probably have seen before. Various magicians do it, but Actually, the trick is actually having some inertia. Here I have this cup, and I also have underneath um, this pillowcase. I'm going to go ahead and pull out this pillowcase from underneath the cup. You notice it's not that successful. There's probably something we should do. What I'm going to do is actually I'm going to go ahead and fill this with some coins. Okay, same cup, same container. I'm going to go ahead and fill it up with some coins. Now that we have some weight, let's go ahead and try it. So, pillowcase, cup, and some coins. Let's go ahead and try it again. There you go! Let's go ahead and see that in slow motion. What's cool about this trick is that it works for things that you don't normally think it would work with. For example, I have the stress ball here. It rolls, but if I go ahead and do this nice enough, I should be able to go ahead and stop any movement. Not bad. Let's go ahead and see it in slow motion. Sorry. 
So those are my inertia demos. I hope you enjoyed each and every one of them. And we're going to actually be reviewing each of these in class and looking at what can we see from each. I hope you go ahead and um, enjoy this video. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, do all that you need to. I'll see you next time.